So B. Simone says she will not date a man, honey, that work a nine to five. And honey, the internet is coming for her. And she responded as well as some other people. Before I get started, definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you're notified every time I release a new video. And let's get into it. I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs> Hey honeys, this video is powered by King Brittany Chanel Couture. In today's video, I am wearing the Oh Honey Collection t-shirt. This is a women's comfort tee and an extra small. So if you like this look that I'm wearing, definitely make sure you check out my Teespring King Brittany Chanel Couture store on teespring.com. The merch shelf is under every video and it's also in the description box below. Let's get into the topic. I hope y'all enjoy. Hey, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is having a lovely, lovely day. Um, it's, you know, we, we going, we getting through life, you know. I hope all everybody is hanging in there despite everything that's going on. Um, and I hope y'all are doing well. Let me know like how you all are doing in the comments section. I like to check in with some of my subbies that watch me. Much love to y'all that watch me and support me. Even the new people, my day one people, much love to y'all, okay? Now let's talk about what's going on with this whole B. Simone situation, okay? So B. Simone basically made a statement that she would not, she doesn't want to date a guy that works a nine to five and honey, it had the whole internet in their feelings so i'm going to read to y'all what happened and then give my commentary y'all know i had to so i'm on complex you all this was written by joshua espinoza and it says b simone criticized after claiming she won't date a man with a nine to five now a lot of people is coming for her and they're probably thinking that she probably coming from like a snobby type of standpoint because you know sometimes when you tell a man something like as a woman like they hear something else they don't necessarily hear what you're saying um it's nothing wrong with a man that works a nine to five i personally like would want a man that is working a nine to five but he if if i did date a man that had a nine to five he would have to have an entrepreneur mindset and be trying to get a business and that's what she kind of was saying. Like, she wants an entrepreneur type of man. Which, is nothing wrong with a guy that work a 9 to 5. Nobody is shading a hardworking man. But, job, you know, as I told y'all before, y'all got to look at my video, Um, you know, how to boss up and how to be successful. Jobs stand for just over broke. And typically, people that's working a 9 to 5, they pay you just enough to keep you coming back you know every every time you got to come back to work okay so i don't feel like personally it was anything wrong with what she said i think a lot of people are or sometimes men be in their feelings because if they're not at a certain place they kind of feel like why you know are women kind of coming for them but the woman you know it says he that find of a wife find of a good thing and in order for you to get a wife or a woman you gotta step your game up you just have to make sure that you at a certain place like just how women have to go to prepare like how esther did she had to go prepare for her her king and all of that other stuff for her husband men have to go off and do the same type of thing so you got to get yourself in a, in a in a boss position so that you could you know have your woman especially if you really want a, a woman uh of, of substance and of class and that's on a whole nother level it's some women that's gonna be okay with a dude that just go to work and that's that's all he do but is that dude bringing generational wealth to the table is that gonna take care of your children and your children's children you have to think about that when you dating a person you're you know trying to get information to see you know if it's gonna be worth it with this person trying to court you so i feel like her mindset is i got to be me and my kids and my kids kids got to be taken care of that's what i heard i don't know what no everybody else heard but typically you know men i feel like sometimes in certain communities i would say the blk community uh i think because in, in some women too they believe in struggle love because that's a narrative that's always pushed it's oh I, you got the whole of a hard working brother down and 
you know, even if he's struggling, just give your all. And this is why I feel like a lot of BLK women are always last place or always not viewed as a prize because they reward mediocrity. You know, they reward it, okay? You don't see those other women from other communities sitting there checking for brothers with nothing, okay? They be like, you need to come with this, this, and this, and this, and this. So now that some women is putting a value on themselves, I think that's what it is. But let's get into the article, y'all. I just wanted to give y'all a little overview. Let's talk about what she said. So B. Simone is looking for a man. However, her dating requirements have ignited some, you know, people coming for her. During a recent appearance on Nick Cannon's radio show, the self-proclaimed Manifest Queen revealed she has been living the single life, excuse me, for the last seven years and was finally ready to be in a relationship. Nothing wrong with that. Maybe she was working on herself in that time period. A lot of us need to work on ourselves so that we can know what we want, you know, if we're able to, you know, be compatible with whatever type of person and, you know, and that sort of stuff. So, because a lot of people look at that like, oh, maybe she couldn't get a man. But no, you need to work on yourself so that when that person is supposed to be your husband or your wife, comes you're prepared and you you're not looking for somebody to uh make you okay but anyway Cannon told Simone there were plenty of men who were interested and that he will be willing to set her up on a blind date but first he needed to know what kind of guy she was looking for so Simone 30 explained she was looking for someone a little older and who didn't have a nine to five job you could probably guess which of those comments caused the stir now it's nothing wrong with that she's looking for somebody a little older probably because she doesn't want to deal with the uh you know the the drama you would deal with with dealing with somebody that you know probably is her age um a, you know probably looking for somebody that's a little bit more mature but anyway um nick is like what why not you don't want him to have an honest job she says i mean he could be a hustling entrepreneur simone responded and he said, so you want CEO status, Cannon said. And she replied, yes. I don't see a problem with that. Now, I don't see the hustling part. You could cancel that hustling part. Because, you know, I, like I, I was looking at some, some series. I think I was watching DJ Vlad with Kevin Childs and all these people that used to be in the, in the hustling and all that other stuff. And they, they basically was like, if you hustling in 2020, you slow at this point. So just to clarify entrepreneurship to me is the way to go like if you looking for i feel like a successful person because it's like you are your own boss that person has a boss mindset and once again all the money that you're making is going to be your money nobody could hire you or fire you and not to mention you could build generational wealth you could live the type of life that you want to live and then think about it like there's there's nothing wrong like i said before with the nine to five but is is that gonna give you a life that you really want to live typically that person is always always gonna have to probably be at work because they're like i said jobs stand for just over broke so it's like when are y'all gonna have time to spend together you got to think about that aspect of it and then it's just like you're only you know some some jobs only give you enough for your just your bills or whatever you get what i'm saying and then you're left like something happens you don't have no money saved or anything like that so it's just like i said you never want to have all your income in one basket so she's saying like she'd rather be with an entrepreneur so that caused for some reason i don't understand why that caused controversy but like i said it's just interesting to me that um when it comes to i would say women the so-called blk um when it comes to us we're not supposed to have any requirements we're just supposed to love and hold a, a good brother down and y'all know the foolishness that's portrayed so she's saying out the gate i want ceo status so simone went on to say there was nothing wrong with the job that requires some someone to clock in and out at a certain time but she believes entrepreneurs should date other entrepreneurs 
And that's a valid thing that she's saying. So she's not dissing people that have a nine to five type of job, just to clarify to y'all. She says that, um, why? Because they could understand each other's lifestyles. And I feel like that's true because a person, prime example, right? I'm an influencer, right? It's a little hard for some people to understand um, that being a line of work or that being tied into your own business and entrepreneurship because a lot of people in their lifetime or in their time period, they don't understand just getting on apps, logging in, making money or making money online. They don't understand starting businesses or they don't understand like the business model of being an influencer, stamping your name on something and that being a product, they don't understand that. They understand what they understand because a lot of people their whole life, like it's just go to school, go to college, get a good job. But they don't understand that our tech, our society is more technologically driven now. So when you tell people, they say, oh, what do you do for work? And you tell people, social media influencer they sometimes it's like they're looking crazy they like you need to get a you know is that a real time job and they don't understand that entrepreneurship that's what it is <laughs> what are you talking about i'm an entrepreneur like they don't get it because it's like it's something that's new to people so she's saying like at least if you date another entrepreneur they will understand what it is that you're doing you feel what i'm saying like when you online you like, okay, this is your clocking. You're not clocking it for anybody, but if you're going to be online, you might as well be making money off of being online. Why be online not getting anything out of the deal just being online? You feel what I'm saying? So basically, I get where she's coming from. Like entrepreneurs, they'll understand like the, the dedication, the time that it takes to market, to you know research to, for products and development and that sort of stuff. They'll understand all of that because they're doing it for themselves also. They'll understand like the hard work, the sweat, the tears that comes from working for yourself. Like there's a satisfaction of it because it's like, wow, this is the empire that, you know, the most high has helped me to build. So um, they'll understand that. So basically the new TI, AKA Tory Lanez, was among those who reminded Simone there were plenty of nine to five men who make banks sometimes more than well-known entertainers. So he's commenting on somebody's business as usual. And to me, it's like he's been having a lot of energy um, toward women as of lately. Like, I don't understand why this dude just doesn't mind his business. Like, who asked him to be the spokesperson? Like, he's been really vocal lately being annoying. Like, even with the whole Shekinah situation, like, nobody asked him. Like, worry about yourself. Like, he been doing the most. He's Tory Lanez is officially the new T.I., okay? He is officially the, the spokesperson nobody asked for. Is That's his new name. So he says, LOL, I guess no one told my dog be Simone. First of all, why are you calling a female your dog? Be Simone, but I guess he could be talking about friend. But you know, I, I, I'm very skeptical of Tory Lanez because you know, all of a sudden he's uh Martin Luther King on his social media talking about what we should do for the so called BLK community. All the while, he uh, you know, perpetuates this image of y'all know that whole trap music type of stuff. Then the whole, you know, women and, and the, the twerking and stuff that goes on on his lives and stuff. But he 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 wants to be righteous and tell people how they should feel and what they should do and all the rest of this stuff. It's just, uh, like, I cannot stand people who just, like, stop. You're not, you know, stop. But anyway, he says, LOL, I guess no one told my dog, B. Simone, that the whole, the world got a lot of people who work a nine to five, they get more money than some of our favorite rappers and entertainers. For me, on the other hand, all y'all ladies with nine to fives hit my line, I got time, P.S., and that rhymes. It's just annoying. Like, I feel like he has been pandering, yo. And I feel like it's because, first of all, he's been speaking on a lot of issues that is, 
like our issues that's over on this side you feel what i'm saying because he he's from canada anyway like so he been very chatty as of lately being annoying but furthermore i feel like anytime people always talking about people that don't have money knowing that they don't live the life that people who don't have money live just to try to be cool like that that person is trying to play at an angle just peep game on that um and typically people that work nine to five like unless you like a ceo of a company you in high upper management people is really not making um as much money as he claims that they're making like you would have to be like i like you know on somebody's board or in the corporate world somewhere and even then like you know it'd be ceilings for stuff so most of the people that's making a lot a lot of money is entrepreneurs because they're working for themselves meaning they're pocketing their own money you feel what i'm saying and like she said she didn't diss people who work a nine to five she said she just would prefer that she date an entrepreneur because they would understand her lifestyle so once again he's talking out of turn and missing the whole point just the same way like he tried to get up there talking about shekinah was crying over something that shekinah wasn't crying over that's what she was trying to tell him so it's just he's always insert people who insert themselves and nobody asks them are so annoying yo like so annoying but anyway let me see what else they're saying like because i totally got her point like i totally got what she was saying okay so this is what she said not the lives people want for you it has to be in his mindset that's what basically she said that's what gets her going i'm gonna say that i had a nine to five and dated a guy uh, dated a nine to five guy because we were like-minded i elevated now i need my man to elevate with me learn how to manifest by getting my book we restock manifest queen so she basically is on her entrepreneurship promoting her book and she's basically saying, like, I grew from that. It's nothing wrong with people that's at that level, but I grew from that, and I need that type of man to match my fly. Nothing wrong with that. But here we have old father face Tory Lanez up there talking about, oh, you know, oh, ain't nothing wrong. These are the these are the same people that be always oh I'm for the for the for the queens and all this other stuff, and I'm down but perpetuate a whole different view of all of that. So, like I said, ain't nothing wrong with what B. Simone said. I understood it exactly. What are y'all's thoughts? Would y'all date a man with a nine to five or would y'all do y'all want an entrepreneur, CEO type of man? Leave your comments down below. You know, we don't got time for struggle love in 2020. We up out of here. It's King Brittany Chanel. You already know. Definitely make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm out. For watching my video and if you haven't definitely make sure you check out my teespring king Brittany chanel couture where you can find my latest merch i upload a lot of new designs frequently so definitely make sure you check it out we have mugs we have wall tapestries canvas art pillows fleece blankets apparel and so much more thank y'all for watching and i'll see y'all on my next video